So is spending more on a product to get the premium variant worth it? Or are you better off spending the bare minimum and allocating your budget somewhere else? For a mouse, today we'll find out. Whenever I look into buying specific items I need, one question in my mind is always how much to spend on it. And I guess that's a question in everyone's mind, right? But at least for me, I want to figure out the best bang for the buck for my specific needs. I don't want to spend too much and then end up getting all these features and not being able to utilize them. On the other hand, I don't want to spend too little and regret not getting the specific features I need. We're all different. You have some folks who'd rather spend so much on an iPhone than spend so little on maybe an entry-level desktop PC. And then there's some others who'd spend so much on a gaming decked out PC and then get the barely functioning phone. In that regard, we're all different. So this is why I thought it'd be a good idea to compare a premium mouse versus an entry-level mouse. So we will get a good idea of what you're actually getting if you're spending so much more on a premium product. And today, we will find out. The unboxing experience is not that different actually, at least for these products. There's more material for the MX Master 3 but for the most part, they're the same. It comes with everything you need, nothing extra. Comparing it to some of the premium unboxing, like an Apple Pencil, that one's totally on a different level. Not complaining, it's just a thought. So in terms of what you get in the box, there's not really much of a difference. This is one of the areas where most differences are. At least that's what we should expect, especially paying so much more. Let's start with the design. The MX Master 3 is geared towards creators. It has an ergonomic shape that fits your hand perfectly, minimizing wrist strain for prolonged use. The G102 on the other hand is a more standard built mouse geared towards gamers and general use. Nothing fancy uniform shape, and light for quick mouse moves. Comparing to the G102, it feels more natural following the shape of your hand. In real world use cases, while the G102 is not as comfortable, this is something you will really notice until a couple of hours of use. The texture is also significantly different as the MX Master 3 has a rubber-like groove finish, while the G102 has a matte plastic finish. The MX Master 3 feels more premium because of this, but in terms of comfort of the finish, there's really no noticeable difference. The MX Master 3 is also significantly heavier because of all the mechanisms inside. That may be a good thing or a bad thing depending on your preference. For gaming, I would definitely prefer the G102 as it's easier to flick around and move around. And also, depending on the desk pad you're using, you might prefer a lighter mouse. In my case, I am using a leather-like desk pad which tends to stick to a heavier mouse. So I prefer the lighter mouse or maybe I should just get one of those wool desk pads. So for build quality, I will give this one to the MX Master 3. You get more comfort, better design, and ergonomics. First, let's talk about the physical features. While both devices have a number of physical buttons, the MX Master 3 has a few additional buttons as well as unique features. I'll start with the most obvious, the mouse wheel. I feel that the MX Master 3 mouse wheel is one of the main reasons why people buy this mouse. It's one of a kind. It basically has two modes, a ratcheted and freewheel mode. On top of that, when you scroll fast, it responds to that as well. Another distinct feature is the thumb button, which you can configure to have gesture actions. Connectivity. This is an area where the MX Master 3 has more flexibility and options. Being a wireless mouse, it does not have the limitation of the cord and it allows you to connect to multiple devices using the selector. You can connect it to your PC using the Logitech unifying dongle and an additional two Bluetooth devices. On the other hand, the G102 glides smoother because of a wired connection. Both the G102 and the MX Master 3 come with their own applications for customization. 
can assign buttons, assign profiles, assign the DPI and speed, and pretty much any customization you would want. In terms of the application, while they look different, they pretty much function the same. In this area, the MX Master 3 gets a unique design and a lot more flexibility in terms of connectivity. So what do you get by paying 6 times more than what you would have spent by getting an entry level mouse? Well, you get a better looking mouse, more comfortable, comes with the unique design features and a lot more connectivity. So that's a lot more. But of course, you pay more. So the question is, should you pay more? Well, it depends. If you're the kind of person who just casually uses their computer and maybe, you know, a little bit of browsing and casual gaming, I would rather not spend that money and spend it on somewhere else. Maybe get a better audio setup, improve your audio or get a better monitor. Spend your money somewhere else. But if you're someone who sits in front of the PC for countless hours, uses multiple devices, and has the time to customize a feature-rich mouse, then by all means, go ahead. And actually, one important point is that even though the mouse has so much features, there's no guarantee that you'll be utilizing them all, and especially on day one. I had this mouse for a couple of weeks now and I still haven't figured out all the features and maximized all its potential. So at the end of it, it really depends on how you're going to use the mouse. And that's the end of the video. I hope I gave you a good idea if buying a premium mouse or buying a budget mouse is for you. If you like anything in this video, I will leave links in the description for you. Smash the like button if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.